At least 27,000 people have been displaced by heavy fighting between armed factions in Tunga and neighboring Panyukang County in Upper Nile State, a United Nations agency said Friday. According to the UN Office for Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, the intensifying military clashes occurred between 14 and 15 August and extended further to Pakaw and Fangak County. The latest flare-up of violence follows last month's fighting in Panyukang County between rival forces of General Simon Gatwich and General Johnson Olany, two senior commanders of the breakaway SPLMIO faction. According to a statement by the Community Empowerment for Progress organization, 18 soldiers were killed during the fighting in July. Meanwhile, UN Acha estimates that 27,000 people were displaced to Agunduak, an area near Malakal town, in the renewed fighting. The agency also said some 100 people sought sanctuary at Malakal Protection of Civilian Site, with more people fleeing to locations in Fangak County in Jonglei State. As of 19 August, clashes in Deal Town in Atar Boma in Pigi County, north of New Fangak, triggered further displacements. Additional people are reportedly moving towards Malakal Town due to the volatile security situation in Tonga and Pakwa, said Acha. As of 19 August, clashes are ongoing in Deal Town in Atar Boma, Pigi County, north of New Fangak. Civilians, predominantly the elderly, women, and children, are fleeing Deal and New Fangak leaving their belongings behind, said the agency. There are also allegations that a boat carrying humanitarian supplies to the conflict-torn Tonga went missing, and efforts to reach the boat captain were not successful. The UN also added in a statement that aid organizations are coordinating with local authorities to verify the number of displaced people and are preparing to respond if the security situation permits. Leaders of the SPLMIO splinter group, Simon Gatwich and Johnson Olany, had fallen out in the recent months, shortly after signing an agreement with the government in Sudan. In June, the SPLMIG and the holdout Kit Gwang Aguilek forces said they have started implementing the security arrangements.